Hello everyone. In this short video, we'll be walking through the deployment of the JIRA Graph Connector one-click setup experience. We'll cover the deployment process, pointing out some of the common issues that we see, and demo Copilot functionality utilizing the newly connected data. To get started, we'll need a Microsoft 365 account with either global admin or search administrator permissions. To follow the least privilege access model, we recommend using search administrator permissions. We'll sign in to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center with that account and navigate to Settings and then Search and Intelligence. From here, we can select Data Sources and then Add Connection. From the Data Source window, select JIRA and then Next. Through this simplified setup experience, all that is needed to complete the deployment is to configure the display name, the JIRA instance URL, and the authentication information. For this demo, we'll be using basic authentication. Please check our documentation for more details on the supported authentication methods. We have entered the URL and authentication information. In some scenarios, we may not want to deploy the graph-connected content to our entire organization. In that case, we can use the Rollout to a Limited Audience feature to scope the content to a specific set of users. You can use individual users or groups as part of this configuration. We are going to leave this setting off to deploy to our entire tenant. Finally, we need to authorize Microsoft to create an index of the third-party data. Before we continue, it should be noted that we have access to additional configuration options through the custom setup link in the upper right, as there may be a scenario where the default configuration is not sufficient. In this menu, we have access to the user's configuration, allowing us to specify the preferred access permission for the connector. By default, the connector attempts to support source data ACLs by mapping identities using both the UPN and mail properties in Entra ID and matching them to the email attribute in the data source. A common issue that we see is these identities don't match. In that case, we would need to create a custom identity mapping using regular expression. The content configuration, providing us the ability to specify which data and properties you want to index as part of the connector, and finally, the sync configuration, providing us the ability to dictate how often full and incremental crawls will run to keep our external data up to date. For our scenario, we are deploying the defaults through the simplified admin experience. As the connector deploys and begins syncing the data, there's another configuration step we need to complete. By providing a detailed description for the connector, we can enhance Copilot responses. We recommend specifying the type of content contained in the connector, providing examples of workflows, and providing any custom names that the content might be referenced by. This description can always be updated later if additional Copilot tuning is necessary. Once we've provided a description, click Save and Done. We are taken back to the Data Sources tab within the Search and Intelligence Admin Center. Find the newly deployed graph connector. Notice the connection state. We need to wait until this reads ready. I've refreshed the screen, and we can now see that the connector is in a ready state, with over 235,000 objects indexed. Our content is now available to us through both Enterprise Search and Copilot. Let's jump over to the demo. We'll open Copilot and ask a few business questions related to the data stored in our JIRA instance. To start, let's ask Copilot to list JIRA items from the Contoso Tickets project. Here we can see Copilot has returned results, and we can verify they are from our JIRA connector. Let's ask another question, this time about a specific item. We'll ask Copilot to summarize a ticket and provide existing status and who the ticket is assigned to. We can see the requested content is being returned using our JIRA connector as the source. Finally, let's ask Copilot to draft an email to Matt sharing the summary and status of the ticket. We also want to remind him the ticket is assigned to him. Again, Copilot has created our email draft using the information from the deployed JIRA graph connector. Thank you for following along.